Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're gonna continue working with our file chooser. So, in the last episode, we created a simple program where we have a file chooser that allows us to pick a file and then get the text from this text document file opened inside a text area. So, what we would like to add now is another button that allows us to edit the text and then save this text to a new file. So, first of all, there'll be a link down in the description to how to get everything basically running and to the previous video. So, what we'd like to do now is add a new another button. So, let's have this button first be called get, get text. And then we would create another button, which we would call save. And we would like the button call the method and mouse clicked, save. We save, and we need to bring in this save to our controller. So in the button of our controller, we will add the save part, and what we would like to do is we would like to create a file, file equal to our file chooser dot show save dialog what we previously talked about open dialog we now use the save dialog and again we create a new stage just like previously which allow us to when save open up and we can save something when right now it's actually not saving anything it would just be creating an empty document if we did so what we would like to do is we would like to do if our file is is not equal to null and then we would call some method that did all the saving so we would actually like to create a new method which we would just do a public void save system for example it doesn't really matter and it's gonna take input of a file file and and some kind of string content so what are we going to be saving what kind of string and to which file will we be saving it and we will then just be creating up here we will do save system file which is where we'll be saving and the string content which will be getting it from a text area so that would be text area dot get text so what are we going to be doing with this text so we're going to be using a print writer so we have a print writer print writer equal a new print writer and we're going to take the input of a file so where we'll be writing something and we need to surround it with a try and a catch and we would then like to actually have our print writer write the content to our file so we would do print writer dot write content and then we'll just like to close the file so we would simply just do print writer dot close so now we will be able to first get some text get the text and we would just add some more text it doesn't really matter this is just an example and then we would like to save it and so this is a very basic setup so right now we need to give it a name ourselves so i will just call it test test one so it's like the first version of a test and then we need to tell it that txt to tell it that it's actually a text document otherwise it would just be saved as a file and you could afterwards like open it as a text document but we like to save it as a text document save and now when we close the program we can see over here we now have a text file that called text1 containing the thing we just added so this is a very basic setup that allow us to first like we did in the previous video load from the text document then we can edit the text and we can then again save it to another text document or we could like override the first text document but in this case we just create a new one so that's the basics of the file 
chooser and how to save a document. Thank you very much for listening. Leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day.